the most mad Dan has ever been at me was back when he first started, when uh, we built the the iconic massive 100 battery vape. And he kept trying to get me to go do a fitting because they were building like a, a vest. Hey, Alfredo. And I was like, well, why do I need to go do a fitting? Like, I've just got a normal body. Why don't you fit it to yourself? And so he says, okay, whatever. But he kept asking me. I was like, dude, I don't want to go down there. And so when it comes time to record the video, we're out on Hollywood Boulevard. And I've got the giant vape on. And by the way, nobody told me that this thing weighed like 75 pounds. It was unruly it was unmanageable dude there on hollywood boulevard i put on this giant vape for the first time and the fucking vest that they attached onto it was not strong enough to hold this massive 70 pound vape <clears throat> and <clears throat> it immediately broke the strap broke the second i put on and i was like dude like did y'all not and I was like, well, okay, this video is fucked. Dan, do you have any thoughts about uh, who was right in that situation? But we were all we were all really inexperienced. So obviously our communication, our understanding is much better now. Me and Dan work very well together. How was I wrong? Dan was supposed to go there and try it on. Like, like if I, what would be the difference if I went in there and tried it on. I'd be like, yeah, this, this vest sucks. It's not, it's not good enough. If Dan, what, Dan can't do that? You know what I mean? Well, I know you guys are going to vote for Dan. I'm not doing a poll. Screw you guys. No poll. Bad poll. I'm wondering if Dan's watching. Dan. Dan, I need your opinion on this. Yeah, but we got really mad at each other, and then, but we we actually worked. It was fine, actually. So Dan did save the day, though, because the strap broke right here, and he ran down to like a CVS or something and came back with a bag of zip ties, and we put in like ten zip ties where it broke and that actually held it for the whole day. And that, that was on, that was a Dan fix. So he saved the day. Dan says he went and tried it on twice and it was fine. Well, so, so there you go. How could, how could I have saved it? Me going there and trying it out would have made a difference. He said, also, if you had tested it, it would have broke then. And we would have fixed it at that point instead of breaking it while out there. Why would it have broken? I was like the same size as you. I wasn't like this massive cow. So if you went there and tried it on, why would it have broken when I was there? I don't understand the logic. He was. He says it wasn't fitted properly to you? Oh, come on. It was like a tent. We're, we're like the same size. What does fitting have to do with the strength of the... It, it wasn't rated for that much weight. I love that we're hashing this out now. Yeah, but Dan, Dan saved the day, and then we kind of, we, uh, you know, worked it out. And that was kind of the only time we've ever actually been pissed at each other. I think Dan gets mad at me sometimes, but he, he gets over it. Not that serious. Dan would be the one to ask that question. He gets mad sometimes when I push it, push things too far. Dan gets, get, Dan gets afraid the show's going to get banned and they're all going to lose a job.